Hi, I'm Scott Hutchins. So my name is Dan Archer. Hi, my name is Shimon Tanaka. Uh, my name is Ariel Bassich. I'm a lecturer in creative writing here in the English department at Stanford. This is actually my fourth year of teaching the graphic novel project and I was an art director. I'm a lecturer, a program lecturer in creative writing. I am a, or I was, a writer slash storyboarder for the graphic novel project. So we are together teach a, a class here called the Stanford Graphic Novel Project. The Stanford Graphic Novel Project is a class that's uh, fall and winter quarter and what it does is it takes together uh, writers and artists to create one large <laughs> graphic novel all together um, with the help of our professors. So we have been teaching in the Flex classroom for this uh, project and we have found it I think to be really integral to the teaching process and the creative process. Uh, of creating the graphic novel. So the way the classroom helped change the way the students collaborated was predominantly through how we would approach mock-ups. So we, at the, at the start of the course, we all encouraged the students to do a bio of themselves into a single page of comics and we pinned those up on the wall and then I was able to go around and actually draw on the wall around them um, really enjoying the sort of whiteboard paint effect that there is. Um, my critiques um, with arrows and stuff, so that was really effective. Previously, in, uh, with the graphic novel project, students have been in different rooms because they've been, uh, we've had the writers in one room and we've had the illustrators in another room. Um, with the Flex Classroom, we have everybody in one space, but we have different computer workstations around the room and that allows students to be working in the same environment and to be uh, speaking with each other, asking each other questions while working on different parts of the project at the same time. We used it a lot, as a writer, what we used it a lot for was um, the big monitors and having our different pages, our different storyboards up so we could all look at them and make comments on them more easily. Um, when you have eight people trying to look at one uh, sheet of paper, it works very diff <laughs> pretty differently and not as well. Every Tuesday we would have like a little lecture, I guess, on like how graphic novels work and different strategies and stuff used with them and uh, uh, the smart board was really helpful for that um, because one of our professors did a lot of drawing and comparisons and circlings and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. I also think the space in general is very flexible so we're able to move the tables around we break in sometimes into three different groups for artists, thumbnailers and then production but sometimes just one larger sort of um, more boardroom style arrangement so that helped quite a lot and we use the projector um, quite a lot as well to project um, PDFs of the book that we'd put together as well as try and encourage criticism and feedback from the students. And also just the fact that it was a very large space was, and the tables could be moved and or configured around the computers as you needed them was very helpful. The space of the Flex classroom is enormously useful as is the ability to write on the walls. It seems like a small point, but it is uh, incredibly useful in our creative process. Um, we find that Flex is very um, amenable um, to the changes that we want to make on a day-by-day -day basis. Um, can be quite malleable with the furniture um, and obviously having the different monitors as well is really, really, um, really advantageous to showing different screenshots, looking at a Google Doc on one screen and a, um, the script on the other. Um, so. I would say it was really helpful in not only splitting up the class but also collaborating.